Absolutely. Well, and um, <laughs> so Ty Rivera, as I as I mentioned earlier, uh, Jeremy, our Ty Rivera correspondent, reached reached out. Said, "Boss, you don't want to check this one out. You know, not 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 as cra- now. What's happening with Ty Rivera is he realizes the only way people watch his show is if he shits on Joe Rogan or his circle." <laughs> Yeah, so that's like consuming his life now. It's kind of like what's going on with Kevin Brennan. Is like you see, guys, do a show. Maybe people will like it. Maybe they won't. You know, <laughs> just fucking yeah. do what interests you, rather than you think what the algorithm is gonna like. You know, this, this guy's hideous looking. <laughs> Ty Rivera. Yeah. How dare you? Uh, but you know what? To be fair, as we'll find out, he's not broadcasting from where he wants to be. Yeah. So you all remember. Um, how he? Well, we'll get to that. I don't. I, I don't want to spoil it. Yeah. Uh, let's just say Ty Rivera has burned some more bridges. It seems. <laughs> Joe Rogan is a liar. I know it's a bold way to start off. And- Whoa, Ty! <laughs> <laughs> you should have put a trigger warning on this thing. Jesus. Damn, dude. <laughs> I don't know if I can patting, do that. <laughs> patting himself on the back. The only reason people watch this show is because he's like, fucking Rogan stinks. We might have to take like a 10 minute time out, dude. I don't know if I can continue. He's like, I, I hope you guys are ready for madness. <laughs> March is over, but the madness continues with Ty Rivera. <laughs> Joe Rogan is a liar. I know it's a bold way to start off. And really, I didn't want to face it myself. <laughs> if he's if he's joking i give him credit because that's very funny to be like I, I frankly i'm lying to myself more than anyone if i say <laughs> if i say that joe rogan's a good man <laughs> i didn't want to i didn't want to come to grips with it even though it's the only reason people are watching me <laughs> i just couldn't i said i said ty it can't be so <laughs> Someone in the chat says this is Dennis Rodman and J Lo's gay son. <laughs> oh, God. I can see it. <laughs> um, here we have him talking about the creek in the cave. Okay, so you guys remember how the comedy mothership Tyra Ver trashed the mothership and said that they weren't booking the right people, particularly him. Uh, but really, just he was mad that they that, that oh, there were so many booking errors, just that he wasn't getting enough stage time. And he was really mad at the way they treated so many people, particularly his pay specifically. <laughs> and what he said was that the place for freedom, guys, follow me on the path to freedom, because the place that really lets you be you, it lets comedy shine on the center stage is the creek in the cave. So he's going to tell us more about why the creek is better than the mothership. <laughs> yes, he is. The reason that I'm recording from home right now is because Adam Egit, the booker of the mothership, who I've talked about a couple of times before, made a stink with the creek and made it so I can't record my podcast there. <laughs> and I know that it was Adam that did it, even though now Rebecca's trying to lie, which I've lost all respect for Rebecca Trent. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember, it was just a couple weeks ago. <laughs> we played it. Like, you know who's great is Rebecca Trent. <laughs> we have to remember, though, being catty is in their nature. You know what I mean? I suppose. Yeah, sure. If you want to stereotype, but you sometimes know. you have to. I understand. Um, yeah, I, I remember it was a, a couple weeks ago. He was talking. He said, Rebecca is so open minded <laughs> that even I have to tell her sometimes like, hey, you don't need to book all these people. That's how open minded this bitch is. <laughs> and then Ty Rivera ran his mouth about a couple of things. And Rebecca said, I don't want you playing here. And suddenly Rebecca Trent doesn't know what she's doing. It's crazy how that works. You know, and uh, you know who else doesn't know what he's doing? Who's the, the most one? successful comedy booker of all time, maybe. <laughs> Adam oh, you mean like the guy, like Norm's guy and Rogan's guy, like the guy that comedians trust? Yeah. He r- ran the comedy store and now moved to the most 
popular club maybe in history. <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm talking about is the comedy booker who knows comedy so well that the mo one of the most successful comics of all time had him co-host his show. Yeah. Well, it was known for nothing. <laughs> yes. And Norm said, I want you on my show. Uh, so let's hear what a jackass this guy is, Adam Egan. Anyway, uh, the thing is, Adam called Rebecca literally crying, <laughs> which for anybody that thinks Adam has any kind of authority or thought Adam was any kind of man, just know that he literally cried the I first so. time. First of all, does anyone that. believe that? Like, oh, <laughs> Rebecca. Well, they was talking about me. Rebecca. <laughs> he said, he said, I'm friends with Kim Congdon. <laughs> I feel like if Adam Ege called Rebecca crying, Rogan would be like, yeah, you're fired. <laughs> Get out of here. He, he said, Sarah Weinshank's not good at comedy. <laughs> <laughs> like, does anyone believe? Ty, you got to work on your lies, buddy. <laughs> Who's going to believe that? <laughs> Any kind of man, just know that he literally cried. The first he said, he said, I only paid him a hundred dollars. <laughs> this dude got tw 200 bucks to do uh, like 13 minutes at most. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he got like 1200 for the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> and, and bitched about it. <laughs> Or maybe it was the second time that I talked about him, but he literally cried. And that was like a woman uh, cried uh, to Rebecca about the fact that I had recorded a podcast and talked about him, which on that one, that's just when I talked about the Kim Congdon and Sarah Weinshank thing, which is just him playing favorite. So I don't know why I would cry about that. But also when it gets to Joe Rogan, because some of you might be it like, is, I, I give him credit. Maybe I don't know Ty well enough. Mm -hmm. It's very funny to act like he to be like I don't know yeah, I don't know why he was weeping about that <laughs> like if he's fucking with Adam Egan that's very funny I'll give him that this is all a joke and he's been at the mothership this whole time yeah like th then I'll give him credit but if he like thinks pe if he's getting clicks that way because he thinks people are gonna believe that Adam Egan was weeping because he said he booked Kim Congdon too much. I wish I wish Rogan wasn't so big that he would book him on his show and then just videotape him getting denied access from the studio. <laughs> well, I, I imagine what happened is Adam Egan and Rebecca Trent are friends, and Adam was like, "Do you hear this fucking guy going off on me?" Like Jesus Christ. <laughs> and Rebecca was like, "Yeah, we don't need this here. Like, I don't want to be involved in this fucking drama." Adam Egan going through a whole case of puffs. <laughs> his nose is just <laughs> running the whole time. <laughs> Rebecca, I'm out of tissues. <laughs> I call you back. My battery's about to die. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, Adam. Liar, if Adam Egan is the one that got your show banned, well, because Adam Egan would have no power if it wasn't for his position at the mothership. And Joe Rogan at this point has to know what's going on. Well, sure. That's how all of life works. But people in positions of power wouldn't be powerful if they didn't have those positions. Do you know yeah, why? I guess. I guess. Rogan, <laughs> you know why Rogan hired Adam Egan? Why is that? So we didn't have to deal with people like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing that we're getting to. Is that he, like Ty goes on to talk about how easy Rebecca and Adam Egan's jobs are, and it's like, but they have what you're not factoring in is they have to deal with you. We're also not factoring in friendship, like he's. They have to deal with assholes like you. So <laughs> what, what, I'm sorry, what friendship? Yeah, this is him talking about friendship. Okay that that was going on because i don't personally hang out with joe rogan know his number you don't? talk to him like that when i would see him at the club we'd give each other a bro hug when he felt like it i never <laughs> even he can't even he can't fully commit to it <laughs> when he felt like it on his terms i mean we would really embrace each other it happened once but <laughs> he said who are you <laughs> i'm sure i'm my guess as to what happened based on this exchange is that Ty was like, Joe. And, and Joe was like, Hey man. It's like, what the fuck's his name? Get, what the hey, fuck's his name? Bring it in. Get over here. Sport. <laughs> We've been friends. How can I, he's got a fucking face tattoo. How can I not remember this guy? <laughs> <laughs> he's easily identifiable. <laughs> over to me or we 
passed each other. We'd give each other a bro hug, say hi. That was the extent of it. I never had an interest in being friends with Joe Rogan. and not. I suspect it was mutual, Ty. <laughs> <laughs> That's like me saying, you know, listen, I, I'm not I'm not even trying to be Larry David's friend. You know? <laughs> so. So, guys, lest you think that <laughs> the effort to not be Larry David's friend has all been on my part. <laughs> I didn't feel like there was a real need for that. I, I worked <laughs> for his club and I thought he was cool enough. I know he had helped out a couple of friends of mine. And so I was indirectly appreciative to him for that. And I still do feel that way because he really has helped a few of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to go on to just fucking berate him in the business he's built. Guys, trust me, bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> It's ve it's very funny to be like, guys, I know you all think I'm friends with Joe Rogan. I'm actually not. <laughs> Listen, I want to put these rumors to bed. Despite our hug, which everyone's been talking about, mm -hmm. I'm not friends with Joe Rogan. The hug felt around the world. <laughs> I, Shane, Gillis, Shane Gillis gave me a hug once. Does that mean we're friends? Um, do you have his phone number? I do. Sounds like you're more friends with him than he is with Rogan. Ooh. Best buddies. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is uh, Ty talking about free speech. <laughs> oh yeah, no. So this, I, I think Ty might be a little confused here <laughs> because uh, the Comedy Mothership, as we all know, is the uh, you know the free speech club, basically. Um, so Ty's saying they're a bit hypocritical, I guess. Rogan really believes in free speech. One, why does everybody have to sign an NDA to work for him? Which the comics didn't have to sign NDAs. But as far as all of right. the employees have to <laughs> sign NDAs, never mind that, though, because they do deal with celebrities. But at the same time, it does seem like if you're a real free speech guy, then NDAs shouldn't really be a thing. But yeah, of course, if you believe me, if you're a free speech guy, then you should let the waiters go on Twitter and tell you who's been doing coke in the green room. Yeah, that and I don't know, maybe he's got a state of the art comedy club and he he wants to keep it at the top <laughs> not right, give away yeah. all his secrets it's very funny to like what i appreciate about ty is he'll lie he'll just blatantly lie but give you enough of the truth that he's like you guys know i'm bullshitting right <laughs> he's like <laughs> he's like listen sure i mean the comics didn't have to sign ndas and that's really all that joe meant when he wanted to make a free speech club he, he wasn't advocating for the waiters to have <laughs> to be able to make jokes that they want i mean like yes would I say that Joe Rogan believes that those people shouldn't lose their job if they tweet a joke or something? Of course. The NDA, I think, is in place so that he can't be like, guess who was fucking booting heroin <laughs> inside the mothership? <laughs> guess who cheated on their wife at the comedy mothership this week? <laughs> I suspect that's why the NDA is there. It's not because someone said a, a slur on stage. <laughs> shouldn't really be a thing but that's neither here nor there you guys decide how you feel about that i'm just putting information out and talking the way that i talk <laughs> that's what ty does where he like you know last week or a couple weeks ago we heard him be like yeah you know tony tony hinchcliffe made this guy kill himself and then and that's just me i'm just saying facts you know <laughs> <laughs> he presents it as just him giving information as if he has no agenda at all <laughs> what you might have thought he was done talking about Rebecca Trent. He's not done talking about Rebecca Trent. This is it is very similar to Tony. It's it's funny. Last time he spoke of Rebecca Trent, um, I believe he was her advocate for because he she has the most freedom on the planet. The creek in the cave is where comics can go to be free. Now people change over time. Two weeks is a long period uh, for someone to grow and change. So let's see what Rebecca Trent is up to now. <laughs> me and Rebecca always had a decent relationship with Rebecca. <laughs> She'd give me a bro hug if she felt like it. <laughs> <laughs> she usually didn't want to, but once it happened. <laughs> uh, I was always kind of weird with her, or she was always kind of weird with me, and I... Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this I love Ty, Ty might be a decent guy, because he can't commit to his lies. He's like... <laughs> 
He's like, listen, the, the truth of the matter is Rebecca is kind of annoyed with me. But what I'm going to say now is the lie. <laughs> if he, if this is all just a giant troll, this is like the funniest thing I've ever seen. It's, it's, if, it, if he's fucking with us, it's very well done. <laughs> yes. It just kind of pulled back from her because when I originally was like before I ever met Rebecca, I was already told by a few people that uh, as they put it, this wasn't my words, and I'm not saying that this is what it it's is. This is what I, I was told. <laughs> was I was told the two words that most people use were either addict or drunk. That's what people said. <laughs> like, <laughs> what or a or piece of shit. One- <laughs> <laughs> uh booler five bucks says uh this looks like latino kirk after he came back from ukraine <laughs> <laughs> poor guy that's pretty funny. but i like so i've seen rebecca trent fucking running around skankfest and mm-hmm. she's always busy at those events it's like it's like she seems to be very committed to her job i've only heard comedians say like positive things about her including ty rivera <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, you know what I hear about her is that she's a fucking drunk and a drug addict. <laughs> Person told it's me that Rebecca, funny. I guess, used to have something to do with Just for Laughs Festival. Uh, that's what I was told. Uh, and that she was really struggling with the fact that she's pretty irrelevant in the industry now. That's what I was told about Rebecca. <laughs> Remember? A couple weeks ago, she was she was the landing, the premier landing spot for his. This podcast. guy's this guy's a gem. I like Ty Rivera. <laughs> um, uh, next, we've we've alluded to this. This is the last Ty Rivera clip. So this is uh, him talking about the greatest booker to ever do it and his booking skills. Oh yeah, okay. So so here's the thing: is like booking is easy. Booking a comedy club, it's nothing. Ty Ty Rivera could do it, and he's about to tell you how. <laughs> You know, originally when I tried to tell her about the Adam thing, she just right away was like, you know, well, Adam's one of the few people in this city that understands what it is I do. Book? Because a lot of people understand booking. Like anybody that's had a show understands booking. And I know she'll try to make it a bunch of other things, but Adam doesn't run events like she does. So if it's like Skankfest or any of that she's talking about, Adam is not in that same category. So I don't really know. And when they try (laughs) to act like they're the same as us or even on our level as far as comics go when it comes to booking, (laughs) that's something I just won't buy because it's like, yeah, booking isn't that big of a deal. Like, stop trying to make it seem like you put all those names in an order by yourself. Oh, my God. I could never do that. Well, you seem to have a problem with how they're doing it. (laughs) He did. That's the whole thing. What it's hilarious that Ty Rivera doesn't realize, like, th- probably one of the more difficult parts about that is dealing with Ty Rivera. <laughs> oh, that's the most difficult part. <laughs> like, you know, like dealing with people that are like, oh, Rebecca Trent, she's great, she's my best friend. Wait, I'm not on the lineup this week. She's a drug addict. She's a, <laughs> she's an alcoholic. <laughs> that's the part that's difficult is dealing with personalities like that. I think. Yeah, yeah Ty Rivera's just like, now this isn't my words. I'm just hearing this, but she beats her kids. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just what people are telling me. <laughs> so yeah, Ty, I, I can't get a read on him. He might be hilarious, you know. He could be, or he's a complete asshole. It's one of the two. I think he might be hilarious. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't. I, I gotta be honest. I, it doesn't seem it. It seems like he thinks he's righteous because these clips were from an hour podcast where he's just bitching about not being booked at the mothership in the creek in the cave. Yeah. <laughs> also, simultaneously saying, by the way, that he's retired from comedy. Did he? That's like I mean, me. That's like me bitching about not getting booked places. <laughs> if he's so good at booking and so easy, and they make so much money doing it, why wouldn't he just do it? Uh, it's an interesting quandary that he's in. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, but you know, we we hopefully everything works out for Ty Rivera.